Hello traders and welcome back to my YouTube channel IPDA Trader. Now in today's video we're going to be talking a little bit about Wyckoff and why Wyckoff will most of the times fail you and it's probably not going to be the answer for you in trading, right? There is this huge community of Wyckoffian traders and just as a side note I don't have anything against those people but let's make this very clear right there's this huge community of people that believe that hey Wyckoff is everywhere Wyckoff occurs Wyckoff is the way to trade and my answer to that is absolutely no right once again there's also many people uh, many people that uh, ask me hey do you teach Wyckoff in your course and the answer is no and I want to address that very quickly right let's say we have a point of interest over here right let's imagine this is a bullish point of interest and you're watching price price starts trading lower and now you're in your point of interest what most Wyckoffian traders will actually do is as soon as they see some sort of low being taken out into a break they assume that this is Wyckoff occurring right right here they will now place a buy limit over here they will wait for price to trade down in the expectation that is going to continue higher right but most of the times if you try trading Wyckoff you know this what will happen is that price will trade down will give you some sort of mini reaction not much and then will continue lower because this is not Wyckoff occurring over here guys this is a rate on liquidity which is a single break on the opposite direction to then continue lower and this is why I don't teach Wyckoff and why we focus on order flow protocol and order flow shifting because most of the times that will grant you with a much better um, probability and understanding of what is actually occurring rather than saying to yourself hey every time a POI is getting mitigated it is Wyckoff occurring because the reality is that that is not the case Wyckoff very rarely occurs and in order for Wyckoff to work you need to have that perfect Wyckoff occurrence right if you just have some sort of highs taken out into a break this is very likely a um, rate on liquidity over here potential trend line liquidity stack all across here into a point of interest to continue higher rather than seeing this as Wyckoff and once again people in the mentorship already know but you will sometimes get liquid mitigations other times you will and actually most of the times you will have order flow protocol shifting which I'm not going to be covering over here because that is reserved for the mentorship which by the way you can access through this page which will be in the description below and very rarely you will get Wyckoff right that is why I don't teach that in my mentorship I do trade it sometimes and very occasionally but most of the times you won't have Wyckoff develop you you just think Wyckoff is developing because you see some sort of lows being taken out into some sort of break but what is actually occurring over here is raiding liquidity to the upside to potentially continue lower and not Wyckoff so that is pretty much it right if you are trading the markets and you're and you're trading let's say smart money you have your points of interest if you are forcing Wyckoff everywhere you see right every POI that gets mitigated I can ensure you you will fail because you will believe that Wyckoff is occurring when in reality is most probably not going to be occurring will sort of make you want to take the trade because you believe Wyckoff is developing when in reality it's just liquidity being rated in the opposite direction to continue lower so if you trade Wyckoff right I want you to understand this very well Wyckoff very occasionally occurs in points of interest don't get me wrong it, it does happen sometimes right where you get that perfect Wyckoff and we're going to be going into the drawing board in a second to discuss that but most of the times it's, it's just you believing that Wyckoff is occurring and it is actually not and now you're left wondering well, what did why this does fail right it, it, it's literally Wyckoff why did it fail because it's not it's just you believing that Wyckoff is occurring everywhere when in reality it actually um, very rarely occurs so with all that being said guys we're going to be jumping right into the drawing boards we're going to be making this very uh, fairly quick 
and we're going to be discussing more stuff. So traders, once again, this is not a how to Wyckoff video, right? There's plenty of good information out there in regards to how to trade Wyckoff. But let's say uh, we write this over here. Let's say we're going to be discussing Wyckoff and everybody understands right, that we have accumulation and distribution, right? Accumulation over here. Let's say we have some sort of PSY into a selling climax, maybe some liquidity, ST, STMB break over here now you're valid for your wyckoff right this is sort of what people teach and this is known as a accumulation over here and now we're going to be discussing uh distribution right so once again you can see i'm making this video very quickly because i don't support the idea of wyckoff i don't believe in that and i don't teach it right i teach order flow protocol which is a much better and precise way of actually um sort of monitoring price as it is hitting your points of interest right you will have a much better chance that way because you are literally monitoring the blocks the opposing blocks right let's say we have a market like this when you're trading order flow you're monitoring the opposing blocks that should hold price to continue lower and you're waiting for those breaks and those confirmations but once again i'm not going to get into detail because that's mentorship material but please i want if if you have to take something out of this video let it be that wyckoff very rarely occurs and that forcing wyckoff into every single point of interest will get you hurt right but as we were discussing let's say let's quickly talk about the distribution which is essentially the same thing as an accumulation but flip the other way around right you have a market that is going up it reaches your point of interest and now you're you're forcing that white off right you're hungry for that white off you want to see it develop well maybe you get some sort of buying climax over here sts potential ut right utat the break and now you're watching and saying to yourself, hey, this is where I'm taking the sell position over here. And what will actually happen is that that will turn into some sort of reaccumulation, right? Which is not actually Wyckoff, but a rate on liquidity because liquidity is being taken as this break occurs over here. And it will continue, maybe give you a small reaction, right? Let me move this out of the way, but then continue higher because even though it looks like Wyckoff, this is not Wyckoff occurring over here. If Wyckoff was to be occurring, this should have worked, right? And price should have actually, let's say we remove this stuff, should have actually traded back into that block and continued lower. But this is very risky to take. And even though it can work sometimes, this is just a... I teach this as a rate on liquidity and we don't want to be executing just yet, right? So please understand that Wyckoff is not the be all end all. While Wyckoff will not, will not save your trading, while Wyckoff can help you with your trading, but if you're pretending that Wyckoff is occurring in every single point of interest you see and forcing that, right? You see equal lows, take an outbreak, you place your buy limit over here, you are going to be taken out most of the times. So I can guarantee you that if you trade this way, you're going to be taken out over here back and forth and really non-stop and you're going to be left wondering well why what is happening why are my trades not working out and that the answer to that is because you are forcing wyckoff everywhere instead of letting wyckoff occur and happen for you right you're really because that's the only way you know um how to get involved in the market hence why you try to execute everywhere with wyckoff because you want to be getting into trades you're not sure if this is Wyckoff, but you see the sort of lows into the break and now you're expecting price to continue higher and price just trades lower and you get taken out. So traders, with all that being said, we're going to be jumping right back into the charts and we're going to be going over an POI mitigation and sort of applying a Wyckoff mentality and seeing what Wyckoffian traders would actually be most probably seeing as the trade develops within that point of interest, right? But once again, very clear, I don't have anything against people that trade Wyckoff. I do have some friends that do it and make it work, but the majority of people trading Wyckoff won't actually do it profitably. So 
let's actually go back over here and I've, I've, I have an example over here this is just very basic guys some sort of point of interest over here price is coming into that right so now you're zooming into a lower time frame and let's actually see what occurs over here right we're going to be doing this for, uh, fairly quickly because once again this is not a how to wake up video you have countless videos on youtube on that topic if you're interested in that but this is sort of how i view wake up and my perspective on that topic because many of you were actually asking for it right so let's say we have this developed within your point of interest over here right many people would actually be seeing this as some sort of wake up occurring right let's say we have some sort of selling climax Right. And let me actually um, do it a little bit better over here. Right. So many white coffee and traders would potentially be seeing this as a selling climax, automatic rally, STs over here, even equal lows. Perfect. Right. STs, STMB, spring break. Now you're valid for your white off. You are potentially now watching this area to take buys because you believe that this is Wyckoff occurring and that price should now sort of do something of this sort, right? Should tr somehow trade over here lower into this block or potentially even this block over here and then shift and continue higher, right? Because you have this perfect Wyckoff developing over here, right? So let's actually see what happens. Price sort of continues higher, trades into your block, right? Now you're in that position and you're saying, perfect. Wyckoff over here at my point of interest, let's make some money, right? You now target way higher, whatever it may be, right? So as you can see, price sort of gives you that mini reaction, but then fails and continues lower. Reason being is because this is not Wyckoff occurring, even though it looks like Wyckoff, right? Selling Climax, Automatic Rally, STs, STBs, Spring, Break, right? This is not a Wyckoff occurring. This is a single rate on liquidity that actually tests some sort of block over here and allows smart money to get involved into more sell positions and continue lower because you need to be aware that smart money big bands institu institutions whatever you want to call them they are they are very well aware of what we as retail smart money traders do and sort of sort of really um keep that in mind when trying to trade wyckoff right unless you are seeing it very uh, clearly with all the waves involved within Wyckoff, right? And actually taking time to develop that perfect Wyckoff. I wouldn't be looking for Wyckoff at every single POI to trade because that is going to get you hurt on most of the times, right? I can assure you many Wyckoffian traders will see these, uh, this uh, price action over here as Wyckoff confirmation. And I can guarantee you they would take those buy positions over here. But this will now just give them a sort of a small reaction to continue lower because this is not Wyckoff. This is a raid on liquidity. Raid on liquidity that allows smart money to sort of induce people into taking those buy positions, fills imbalances, mitigates previous blocks, but continues lower because Wyckoff is not developing and you shouldn't be actually taking positions. You should be sort of doing order flow analysis, which will grant you with a much higher probability of your trades actually working out, right? So that is going to be it for this video, please. Do not get it twisted. I'm not flaming people that trade Wyckoff. I don't have anything against those people. I'm just telling you my perspective on that, right? Many of you were asking for it, so here it is. I see this as a rate on liquidity and not Wyckoff, right? Even though it looks like that perfect Wyckoff. But without further ado, with, with all that explanation, this is going to be it for this video. So I appreciate every single one of you guys actually tuning in. Please, if you got some value over here, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. But until that, I wish you all good and profitable trading. And remember, please do not get scammed. The only page I will ever, ever offer mentorship on is this page over here. So if there's any, um, if there's anyone else making you pay for my mentorship without being this page over here, 
please run away because that's probably going to be a, a scam, right? So please do not get scammed. But now, for real, with all that being said, I wish you all good and profitable trading and I will see you guys very soon.